Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I'm back with another eCraft Shop Pro software and uh, since we're upon the Christmas season here I'm getting to work on one of my favorite projects of the year which is to make um, Christmas tags to go on my gift packages. So today you can see that I've got two tags up on the screen here and these are tags that I actually created just by using the basic shapes that are available in the eCraft Shop Pro software. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make another tag here and just kind of show you how I went about doing this. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And uh, the first thing that I normally start with is my decorative edge. And you can see on this one here I did a pinking border. This one was done just by taking a bunch of squares, rotating them, and uh, overlapping them just slightly, and then placing another image on top of them. Um, I'm going to do something similar, but I think I'm going to try doing something with um, some stars here. So let's go ahead and uh, get a star here on the mat. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to also bring in a circle and let's get that circle down here sorry I probably should just move those other tags down and work at the top because it when you bring in a basic shape it automatically brings them in at that top corner there and the tags that I made up here are about are three inches wide so I'm going to kind of go ahead with that measurement here and I'm going to make this a three inch circle but then I'm going to kind of skew it um, here so that it's more of an oval shape so I just take this handle down here and I kind of do like that and that looks pretty nice there so now I'm going to take some of my stars here and let's see here what am I going to do exactly I'm going to just kind of overlap them and let's go ahead and we're just going to copy and paste these stars and we're just going to kind of overlap them onto this oval to kind of create something a whole different and I think I want to maybe rotate this one just slightly so that my um, star is just a little bit different here I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this but We'll get it figured out here. So you got to kind of look at this bottom edge to see. And you know what? I'm not liking that one. So I think I'm going to bring in a different star and just kind of use some different star shapes to kind of create this look that i am got in my head. But see if I can recreate it here on the screen for us. Okay. Okay, that's better. Now let me go ahead and take this one. And I think I'll just probably alternate the, between these two different stars to kind of get the look that I'm going for. And I'm just trying to kind of follow the edge of this, um, this oval. It's kind of like a little guide. And this one I need to change just a little bit here. Maybe I'll make it just a tad bigger. Okay. I'm going to resize this one down because I want to try and Stay in this uh, three inch oval area here. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I'm feeling about this one, but we'll kind of go with it just so you can kind of get the idea here. I'm going to change this one here a little bit, I think, if I can grab them.
It actually kind of looks like it's going to create a bit of a weird look here. So I think I'm actually going to change this around a whole lot. I think I'm going to actually not overlap them quite so much. And maybe space them out a little bit more. So maybe what I'll just do is... Something like this. There, I think I kind of like that better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. I'm going to do a path union and see what that looks like. That's kind of interesting. It's a little bit different. Maybe kind of looks like snowflakes there. Well, let's see here. We put our square on the mat and this is going to create kind of like the body of our tag. And I'm going to we'll kind of line it up to that oval there. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and up here and just type in my 3 inches so that it should match up with that oval. Looks like I need to kind of play with placement a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to play with the height. Ah, I didn't hit the unlock aspect ratio soon enough. Oh, Alright, not a problem. We just got to go back in and line this up a little bit differently. Okay. I'm going to take this tag here and just move it over. So that I have some room here for this one. And now again I'm going to go ahead and just do path union. So now it's all one shape. Move it over here. And now I need to have kind of like a topper on it. And I'm thinking maybe I'll try. We'll see how this works doing another star up here at the top. Not quite sure how this will look, but hey, that's what this is all about. It's all about experimentation. So I'm going to make this in three inch, and I do want to kind of change that a little bit there. Let's see if we can get this lined up so that I zoom in here. And I'm going to just take it down just a smidge here on each side, I think. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so now let me zoom out here and we're going to union that. It's so definitely kind of an unusual shape. Not quite sure how I like it, but it's definitely different. It's not something that you normally see. So. This just kind of gives you some idea of how you can create things um, that just by using basic shapes. And like the, well, this tag here, I, I don't think I want to use this one, but I just kind of played around with it and, you know, see what you can come up with. Um, let me show you these other ones and just kind of, you know, it's the basic concept is the same. Um, but let me show you here. With this one, I used um, a bunch of squares. Uh, come on. Let me make this one smaller so that it's out of our way and we're not looking at it right now. Actually, that's actually more interesting with it's skinny. Uh, maybe I'll use it as a skinny tag. Um, so here with this one, what I did was I used my squares that were rotated and then overlapped a rectangle on top of them so that I created this pinking border. And then I use the trapezoid shape, which is right here, to create the topper. Um, now with this other one, what I did was I took a bunch of ovals and I made them all a bunch of different sizes to kind of create this wonky scallop looking border. Again, another rectangle on top of those. And then I made another oval to kind of create this rounded top here. 
Now one of the tips too that I'll give you here is with your circle for the um, for the um, tag hole that you're going to thread your ribbon or twine through when you've each one of these circles I've got sized at 0.4 inches so you have to do a little math to figure out where the dead center is going to be but my whole tag is just slightly less than three inches so if I take my calculator and I do 2.99 which is the total width of my tag minus 0.4 which is the width of my hole that gives me 2.59 I divide that by 2 and I get 1.295 and I'm going to add that to my beginning x coordinate which is the 2.0 so I've got 3.295 and that is the X coordinate that I want to have for this hole. So I'm just going to make it to 3.3 um, and then you can use your keyboard and just a little bit of kerning to figure out like your placement of where you want this to be at. So I'm just using my keyboard and I'm just kind of moving this up. Um, so that it's more towards the top of my tag there and that's how you can get that hole perfectly lined up with the rest of it. Um, you don't want to do a union on this hole with the rest of the tag because what will just end up happening is that it will weld it all together and then it won't cut that hole out at all. So um, that's just a little tip there for you but I'm going to go ahead and um, upload this file this uh, eCraft Shop profile up on my blog so if you want to grab these tags that I made you you're more than welcome to and I'm actually going to use these in a future design team project so uh, you'll see them pretty darn soon on the eCraft by uh, Craftwell blog and um, see what I did with these uh, two, uh, two tags so Thanks a lot, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.